Hey everybody, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my plan with me for the week of July 22nd through the 28th. I'm going to be using the Celestial Mini Kit from Scribble Prints Co. And I'm also pulling in the Celestial 2.0 Wiggle, which is on the premium matte paper. And it does have a sparkly gold with it, so I used gold and the sparkly gold wiggle for this spread. I pulled a lot of like labels and stuff into this because I normally use ultimate kits and this was a mini kit exclusive. So I had brought home an extra glitter sampler and then the label samplers and then when I was cutting the label samplers um, I had a couple misfits and I just brought those home because they were still usable. So yeah, I had a lot of labels because I do plan no white space with the bougie boxes in the back and I'm very extra so you probably don't need to bring like or purchase I should say that many of the labels and stuff but that's just me. I had my multicolor standing by but I just didn't feel like going through it and finding the perfect colors and everything. I was feeling a little lazy so yeah I was going to use some summer kits and stuff, but honestly, I am so much in like the Christmas and Halloween mood that I don't think I'm going to be really using any summer kits, which I guess is probably not good, but it's okay. This is my planner, and I'll plan if I want to. So, um, yeah, I wanted to use this kit because originally I was going to use this in September for my anniversary, but there is a kit that will be coming out Um eventually that I'm going to be using for that instead that is beautiful and perfect so yeah I'm just gonna wait on that one because it's so perfect and Audrey told me the need to and I was like I agree with you so I wanted to use this one still so I used it then so I am pulling in the date covers from the wiggle and I'm gonna pull in some date dots um yeah so I have some questions that I can answer um that I asked on Instagram a while ago. So, Peachy Panda Design Co. asked, what hair dye do you use? I use either Splat or Manic Panic. I prefer Splat, though. That is the one that I have now, but we actually, right now I'm like a bright red. It was supposed to be like a deep red, so I'm going to be switching to a different hair color, like brand and color. For the next time that we redo the red because I am going to redo the red one more time but that'll be in a little bit um, so yeah I use right now I'm using splat um, hair dye which it actually smells really good I really like it and it sticks on your hair it does not leave your hair so beware <laughs> um, I am putting down some bougie boxes I'm using the gold ones um, Planet Bethan asked, um, have you gotten your nacho box yet I may have to get another one soon I haven't um, I'm I was actually talking to someone about this before that I am like I stick with my routine so I get the same thing every time at Taco Bell which is the beef chalupa and the beef quesarito. Love it, love it, love it. So yeah. Um, Charissa Balaton asked next tattoo idea. So I'm currently in like the process of getting my hip tattoo that I had before covered up so I went in for a session in real time um like last Saturday I think and then we're finishing it up in a couple weeks with the color but after that I think I'm gonna get my mom's tattoo on my leg I'm getting a butterfly for her because it's gonna be kind of connected to the one that I'm getting on my hip. On my hip I'm doing like a floral design because that was the easiest to do as a cover-up and it's beautiful. My artist is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I'm going to work the floral more down my leg because right now it's kind of on my stomach and on my hip and a little bit on my leg but I'm going to move it down and do the butterfly so that'll probably be my next one. But I have a ton of ideas. It's just about finding the time and saving up for them. Um, oh, This one was from Sydney Popa. She asked um, when the October mystery was shipping. Um, this was on September 23rd, I think, that I took these questions, or maybe it was a little bit before that. But um, the mystery times are quoted on the page. We always send them out earlier than quoted. But yeah, oops, sorry. <laughs> I guess I could have answered that one sooner. 
Um, Laura Lynn Plans asked, how do you keep your hair healthy? Um, hair, wait, how do you keep your he hair healthy dyeing it so much? Mine is a mess. Um, I don't really use heat on my hair, and I also only wash my hair about once every 10 days or so. So I think that's kind of how it works out for me, but I also just have really thick hair that somehow has managed to go through literally everything I've put it through and still be fine. It's kind of crazy. Um, M Butler5693 asked, would you ever do two colors, like half and half? I did do two colors for, I think, June through July or something like that. I did half red and half blue. I was basically Harley Quinn. It was really great, actually. I really liked it, and it made me realize like, how much I liked the red on me, because I hadn't been red since high school, actually. So it was very eye-opening for me. Um, and then Ilza planned it. My girl Ilza asked, um, do you like to sing? Um, I like to sing, but I'm not good at singing, so yes and no. <laughs> um, and then Hydra Rouge Plans, Lindsay asked, how are you such a wonderful, crazy, or wonderful person while also being crazy, gorgeous, and creative? Girl, you are amazing. I love you. Um, if you guys don't know Lindsay, she is amazing. She has her own shop right now. I believe it's on a break, but you should definitely go give her a follow. Also, like Ilza too. Ilza sent me some Duncan stickers from Letters to Apollo that she had gotten as an oops. And she was like, I don't go to Duncan. I know you do. Do you want to have these? And she sent them to me. So like, oh, my heart. And I, I've been like looking for Duncan stickers because I have some custom ones that I use from Kenzie's Creations, but I'm always looking for more options. And you know, if they're foiled, then I'm down for that. Um, so Ilsa sent those over and I'm just like so like happy. Like, thank you. You guys are amazing, honestly. Like I'm so thankful for each and every one of you guys. I just, it's crazy. Like I just sit down and play with stickers sometimes and I'm always like late about it. And you guys still like stick around with me and I'm just, I'm so appreciative of you guys and I hope you guys know that. Um, so here I'm putting down the bottom washi. I did do the, um, the 15 millimeter washi add-on and then I used the washi, like the confetti one from the wiggle and I had to white out a little bit more because I still don't know the sizing with this planner, like where I'm supposed to put what. I just kind of like do it and white out if I have to because that's just kind of where I'm at with it. Um, but yeah, I've been loving all of my spreads in this planner so far. I know I've only done like I think four now, but they are all beautiful and I'm obsessed with them and I'm so happy that I'm liking all my planner spreads so far. So those were all the questions that I had. I don't think I had any on my YouTube. Let me check. Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think um, on my flip through, someone asked like how I remember all of the names for the kits and stuff. Um, I mean, I just I don't know. I just do. I mean, maybe from filling orders, but I, I've always kind of been like that. When I worked at Erin Condren, I knew the names for every single cover design and like pattern that they had. So I guess I just like really apply myself to work. I'm not really sure. Um, on the bottom washi, I did do the solid bows, the overlay, and the gold on there. And I, I love it. It's so pretty. I love the solid bow so much. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of gold or silver that much. And I'm not the hugest fan of rose gold. I really, really only like hollow and sparkly hollow. It's really bad, you guys. I I just, I don't know, like I think this spread turned out absolutely beautiful, like I'm in love with it so much, but I just like wish that I could have done hollow with it, because hollow just speaks to me, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. My sidebar, by the way, you guys, was such a mess, I'm still getting used to like planning with long nails, and the fact that I don't plan as much, you know, anymore... Or like that I hadn't been planning as much and then having the long nails, not getting used to it, like it was it was a wreck. And I also like forgot to white out my sidebar beforehand, so 
this sidebar was was a mess, so bear with me. Um, so for my habit trackers, I had only been doing one in this planner because I'd been using the tall boxes, but this one didn't have a tall box. So I always mark nightmares, and then I didn't really know what else to put, so I put self-love because I do something every day for myself, or at least I try to. So I just put that on there, and I use the bow headers from the wiggle that I used in the middle row. I use those in my sidebar to divide the sections, and then I did a squared off box, and I used, I don't know if I showed it in this plan with me, but from Sadie Stickers I had these little moons, and I put two of those and I put over the moon. I don't know, I meant like for the spread. There were like a lot of date things in here, but I had just started seeing the guy, so I wasn't like over the moon for him already. Like we're not, we're, no, like I was just like in love with the spread and yeah. And then I mark my work hours. I like to do that instead of marking work every day, even though I mark Duncan every day. Duncan could be in a habit tracker, but I like using coffee stickers, so that's just me. Um, so yeah, I think I've got to do the full box overlays now. So I use a lot of different ones. I use some from Scribble Prints Co., from Sadie Stickers, and from Rose Colored Days. And then on the headers, I use the star header overlays from Scribble Prints Co. I really like the star pattern. Like, I was going between stars and twinkles, and I think it came down to, like, which ones I had because I realized that I use a lot of, like, the twinkle header overlays and even, like, full boxes and stuff. Like, I use a lot of the twinkle and the stars because they're so universal. But I, like, didn't have all of the foil colors anymore because I'd used them all up. So I needed to, like, replenish that. So I just went with, like, what I had at home. And I have so many, like, overlays from, like, Sadie stickers and everybody. Like, if you've got a star overlay, like, or something celestial, I've probably bought it. Like, I absolutely love it. And looking at this spread now, I didn't put anything on the double box. I don't know that I'm going to because I really like the way the double box looks. Like, I think it's beautiful. I love space stuff and celestial stuff. I have a Gemini constellation tattoo that I got last year for my anniversary. And I recently got a Friday the 13th tattoo of some crystals, which I know isn't like celestial, but I am actually thinking of possibly having my tattoo girl maybe do like a galaxy like a background. But inside the gems, I don't know. I'm just kind of playing around with it. But I think that could be really cool. So this week was very much filled with like the beginnings and I think endings of a relationship. The guy that um, I talked about in my last video, Mike or Michael, um, we went on a couple dates this week and we talked a lot on the phone and stuff. But I think I talked about it in my last video that like it just ended up not working out. He's an amazing guy. I just don't think that like we're, I mean I know like we're like not meant to be together, but it was kind of like hard planning this and like you know writing in like all of the date stuff that we did because he insisted on going to all of my favorite places which just like meant a lot to me. Um, like, he always just, like, whatever I wanted to do and go to, like, he was about it, and he didn't complain or anything. I don't know. It was really sweet. Um, so it was just kind of, like, hard, like, you know, putting in these date stickers. I was like, wow, I'm getting a little emotional, and honestly, I was listening to love songs and wedding music and stuff while I was planning this because I love listening to that stuff, but it does put me in my feelings, so, you know, sometimes we self-sabotage, and... I am definitely one of those people that does that. Um, this glitter header, by the way, I was struggling with, like, such crookedness. This coil, these nails, my just, like, nov novice? Is that what it is? Novice? Novice? Like, I, I was just beginning to plan again. I just put the overlay down crooked, and then it, it was just bad, so I had to fix it. It was a mess. I think I was sitting too far away from my planner, but... It's fine. And I also kept on bumping my desk. I don't know. I'm not used to like this, like sitting down at a desk as much anymore, like to plan and stuff. So I'm sorry. We're kind of a mess, but we're, we're dealing with it, right? I hope so. Thanks for watching. If you're still watching. Um, I just, I love this spread so much. I just can't stop staring at it, honestly. 
I took so many pictures of it to put on my Instagram, and I'm probably going to post multiple pictures of it too, so sorry ahead of time, but I mean, I love them so much. So yeah, I pulled out some date squares from Scribble Prints Co. and then realized that I didn't have all of the date numbers on that one, so I had to pull out another sheet, and now I'm going to put the dates on. I kind of forgot what they were because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the date covers from the kit or from the wiggle until I started planning and then I decided on the wiggle ones. I couldn't find my like golden sparkle wiggles like the clear one or else I would have pulled in more of that foil but I don't know where I put them at because I can't find them. Oh my gosh these bottom washi overlays from Sadie Stickers they're like constellation ones. I love them so much. I put them along the top so beautiful so beautiful I'm I'm sorry I just said so like so loud but just like oh my gosh I could not stop wiggling this so pretty so I just showed you a cookie I made some cookies like current day and I was eating them while I was doing this it, they were so good I've been making cookies for whenever I go to my little brother's football games because Pillsbury has some football shaped cookies and I, you know, try to be cute and nice and all that. So I was eating some of them and they were so good. I definitely recommend them. So I saw Kirsten say that the little things were like the perfect size to do the Duncan things in the morning. And I was like, girl, I'm gonna copy you. So I copied her. I'm using these custom munchkins. Oh my god, they're so cute. Um, Mark drew these and it's me holding a little coffee cup and I have gray hair so that way I can color in um, my hair to be the color that I have like you know because I change my hair color all the time but honestly I really like the gray by itself too because it matches everything and then these are those Duncan scripts that Ilza kindly sent to me from Letters to Apollo really like them they're really pretty so I put those along the top and then Monday, I was definitely, like, in my feelings. I was feeling really anxious. Um, I actually had, like, an anxiety attack at work. Um, and I was, like, crying. So I ended up going home and napping. Um, I didn't mark all that in, but I napped. And I, for In My Feelings, I used the script from SPC and then the Heartbreak Munchkin, which I've used a couple of those now, and it just breaks my heart. Um, and then I did tidy up a little bit because I knew that Michael was going to be coming over. So I used this paper and milk sticker, which I've said this before, paper and milk's cleaning stickers are probably my favorite. I, I love them. Um, and then I did do a little bit of planning. I didn't get to fit everything in, but I planned a little bit just because I was feeling anxious and I did take a bath as well. And then was a date night. We ended up going to Hop Dottie, which is one of my favorite places, and then we watched Poltergeist and The Big Sick, which I love The Big Sick so much, so good, um, and then we did have some cuddle time. So for the date night script, it's from Simply Watercolor Co., and I used a Fox and Pip couple, and then I used a Paper and Milk burger sticker and a Fox and Cactus like cat couple like holding each other for cuddling. So cute. I absolutely love it. So yeah, that was a really fun, really fun time. I just like, I wish that it could have worked out, but I know that like my person's like out there and they're probably eating Taco Bell, listening to 80s music like I do, and we just haven't met each other yet, so I'm not worried about it. Um, and then Tuesday, I was in a great mood, so I used this Fox and Cactus custom hair color of the like heart eyes, um, Andrea and Emma of uh, Fox and Cactus like teamed up to get me these for my birthday. She sent over some like blue haired girls so use that for marking a great mood. And then my friend um, at the SVC party gave me these Taco Bell like stickers and stuff. So I don't know what shop they're from but I used that to mark that I had Taco Bell and I used a Taco Tuesday script just because it was Tuesday and I had tacos so... I figured it was good. I didn't have to write. It was all nice. And then I actually worked out this day. Really weird, right? So I got home and I was like, wow, I feel like working out. So I went for a run in Texas weather with no water. It was very silly of me. And then I got back home and I worked out 
and I had like a little dance session. It was really great. Um, that was actually like the first and only time that I worked out for a while. Um, not really surprised. I just had that motivation and then, you know, lost it. So yeah, so I worked out and then for working out, I used this Fox and Cactus Girl. Super cute. I have quite a few really cute workout stickers, so they should be motivating me to work out, but they don't. Um, and then I marked that I had Culver's for dinner because that was my prize to myself for working out was consuming more calories. Really smart. And I used this paper and milk fry sticker. And then um, I did talk on the phone with Michael. So I used this Once More With Love sticker, which I was having trouble like placing, but I finally figured it out. Moving on to Wednesday. Wednesday, I wrote that I was up early. I didn't put that in my planner, but I was up early and Andrea did my hair this day. So I used the Stick With The Plan Co. Girl, which I love that so much. It's so cute. And then I used a Coraline sticker from Once More With Love just to mark that I went all blue because I did previously have the half red and half blue hair. Um, I used a day extender on this day, so I was kind of marking a lot of things and marking them in big ways. Um, so on the top of my day extender, I used the movie marquee from the kit and a Chucky's, Chucky sticker from One's More Love to mark that I watched Chucky's Bride. I went through like all of the different Chucky movies. And then I did go to H-E-B, so I used this One's More Love little grocery cart for that, that I really like. Um, her grocery stickers are really cute. I mean, she has a lot of really cute stickers, Marg does, but I really like those grocery stickers, real cute. Um, and then on the inside of the day extender, I used a date night script from Simply Watercolor Co. I love those scripts so much. So whenever I do like a gold or a silver spread, I love using those. And I used a Once More With Love little like kissy couple. It's really cute. And then, so for this date night, we went to Virginia, which is ramen. And that's another one of my favorite places. And then we did some cuddles. I love cuddling. Like, I have this big sloth stuffed animal, and I cuddle it, like, all the time. So, yeah, I'm just, like, a huge cuddler fan. Um, I didn't know, like, what to put for cuddling, so I used a, like, what is it, what are they called? A onesie from the Emoti, like, onesie sticker book from, I think it's, like, the How to Train Your Dragon one. I don't really remember the name of that one, but really cute. I hope you can't, like, hear my computer on the voiceover. It just started, like, getting warm. I hope you can't hear that. If you can, I'm really sorry. I'm still getting used to this. Um... And then we actually watched planner videos. He was like looking at my desk and looking through my stickers and stuff. And he was like, oh, like, tell me all about this. And guys, I told him about it. I showed him my planner. I showed him all my sloth stickers because he thought that was really cute. And um, I have like filming stuff in my room, obviously. And he was like, oh, like, tell me about this. And we watched the old office tour that Andrea has on her channel and we watched some of how she organized my stickers. I think we watched like one of Lucas's videos, one of Kirsten's videos. I let him watch the Cyber Monday mystery, like my birthday spread, but without the audio and like only part of it. So yeah, that was kind of crazy, but he thought it was all really cool and he was such a sport about it. I don't know. And then we watched Isn't It Romantic, which was a really, really good movie. I highly recommend that movie. I've actually watched it couple other times and I used a Once More With Love couple sticker for that because it's really cute. Um, I just went in my like leftover sticker book. This was from Marg's wedding freebie that she did. Really, really cute. Um, moving on to Thursday, I used one of these like moon stickers from CD Stickers to mark that I slept in because I did take this day off because I had a nail appointment. I had therapy. So if I knew that I was going to be gone for a while, I was like, I'm just going to take the day off. So I did that, and I used the sleep in script from Scribble Prince Co. And then I had a therapy, so I used a therapy script from Stiggy Sloth Designs and an Moody from the Coffee Monsters Co. Sorry, I'm trying to hold in a sneeze right now. And then after therapy, I've been going to Sonic to get like a Cherry Limeade or a Cherry Limeade Red Bull slushy. They don't have the Red Bull anymore, but at this time they did. So I got that because by my therapist's like office, there's a Sonic, so 
Love it. And then I head it to my nail appointment, which I go to Blue Canvas, which is on South Congress. I love it. My nails always turn out so good. It is like a little bit pricier, but I, I love them. So I had my nail appointment, and then I did go to my parents' house, and I got to see Noelle. So I used this Visit Noelle script that Andre got for me as a custom. And I used my custom emoji of me as a sloth with Noelle as a taco, which I love so much. And then I did do my laundry, and like my parents helped me with it. Um, I do my laundry there because I don't have a washer or dryer at my apartment. So they're really nice and let me use their laundry station. And then I use a little circle icon for that because I forgot to pull out a laundry sticker. And then I use a wonton and a million little pizza character to mark that I ordered Domino's. And then my mom and I played Scrabble. So I use a game night script. And I don't have any like Scrabble stickers, but I use just like a game night one from the Coffee Monsters Co., which is really cute. And then moving on to Friday, I'm going to be putting in all of my Duncan stickers, which I still use the same ones as before. I realized this was a mini kit and I didn't have the payday flag, but I kind of didn't feel like pulling out a payday script, so I didn't. But I know I got paid, so that's what matters. Um, and... Yeah, I know that I'm going to, like, catch up with myself because I didn't do as much on this day. But, yeah, I really like these Duncan stickers. I think I might order them in silver and hollow. Maybe. We'll see. I am trying to save money right now because I have a couple trips coming up. But also, I just placed, like, a $70 Fox and Cactus order, so... Who's fooling who here? Anyways, on Friday, sorry, I just got really weird right there. I don't know, I was just kind of getting, I don't know, distracted. Um, moving on to Friday, um, I had a really, really bad nightmare. So I have nightmares just about every night, but this one, they've gotten really bad more recently too, to where I'll be up for two hours in the middle of the night. And yeah, it's it's really bad. So this one was one of the really bad ones. I used a Coffee Monsters Co. sticker for that. And then I did fill and pack orders. So I used one of the custom munchkins for that. I watched Smothered, which I highly recommend. It's such a funny show. Andrea recommended that to me. And so I watched some of that. I did call Michael. And I used a Once More Love sticker for that. And then I did like reorganize my closet and put clothes away and all of that so I used a declutter script and a little maid munchkin which is so cute and then I had Taco Bell so I used this taco sticker which you can get this taco food doodle on the food doodle sheet but Andrea and Jessica had foiled me some tacos because I use them all the time and I used a Kenzie's Creations Taco Bell script so I didn't have to write it in then on Saturday I did pack orders, so I used another one of those munchkins, and I had a lot of stuff to drop off at Goodwill because I had gone through my closet, so I did that. I was going to Play-Doh's closet and stuff before, but it just was like a waste of time. I'd only get a couple items taken from them, and so I just decided that I'm just going to go to Goodwill from now on and do that, um, and then I did have to get an oil change, get my tires rotated, the whole thing, so I used this Coffee Monsters Co., emoji for that and then I did have Sonic for dinner so I used this Fox and Cactus Girl so cute and then I did some planning so I did another Fox and Cactus Girl this is one of her Halloween ones which I love I picked up some of these ones like for her Christmas release really really cute and then I did have a bath and a face mask so I used a bath script and a face mask emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co just to kind of mark that I did both of them because um, I normally do a face mask if I'm taking a bath or, you know, vice versa. So, yeah. Then, moving on to Sunday, I did pack orders again. I don't remember, like, what was going on here. Like, why I was packing so many orders for, like, three days in a row. Maybe it was, like, I did, like, a wiggle and a new release at once. Not really sure. But I packed some more orders. And then I did FaceTime Noel because I was having a really hard day. So I used this emoji in a dog onesie, and then I used a FaceTime script, and then I used one of my, like, Noelle customs, but, like, cut off the other word. 
think it said like visit Noelle or something. I cut off the visit and just put Noelle underneath the FaceTime and it looks really cute. I love FaceTiming Noelle. She never knows what's like going on but it just like makes my day so much just to see her and see her look all confused. I don't know. She's she's the love of my life. I love her so much. Um, and then I was definitely in my feelings. I don't know. I was just really thrown off this day. I was feeling really upset. So I was in my feelings and I thought, what better time to use a space like I need space girl than in a celestial spread. So I used this one from Stick With The Plan Co., which matches the spread pretty well. And it in my feelings script, um, fun fact, or I guess it's, I don't know. I said in my feelings to my therapist and she was like, and what exactly does that mean? And I was like, oh, I haven't said this to you before. I use this to categorize all of my feelings that are negative. And I had to like explain it up to her and she was like, ah, okay. But now she knows. So I can just be like, I was in my feelings. So yeah. And then I used a hair wash munchkin to mark that I washed my hair, and I did call Michael, so I used an emoji. And then I had some Culver's for dinner, so I used a Fox and Cactus Girl. And here I am just like coloring in some of these hairs. I don't know, I thought I would like try it out, see what it looks like. I don't know which pen this is. Elissa from List Plans gave this to me, I think. Um, but I just colored in some of the girls, because you know, I can do that if I want to. And it's funny because I have red hair now, as you can clearly see, it's clown red. Um, and I'm coloring in blue hair, which is kind of funny. But yeah, I am so in love with this spread. If you guys want to see this filled out, definitely check out my Instagram because it's beautiful. Look at this wiggle. Oof. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.